Zeno, and I'm from Team Ignorance W, and I want to explain to you how to tune your intake to be able to collect purple blocks very efficiently. So over the few, over the last few months, we're be, we've been getting a lot of questions that on how we're able, how our robot is able to collect bl purple blocks and green blocks very efficiently with little to no jams. So I want to, so I want to explain to you how how we how we do this so the main problem on everybody's intake is that gravity is pushing down on your intakes because of how heavy it is so the gra gravity is pushing down on your intake when your blocks are in there so it comp it's so it's compressing the blocks compressing the rollers and creating pressure in the process So, if you if you look here in, at our robot, if I put if I put a purple block in the middle of the intake, and I try to spin it with my hands, it's gonna it's gonna be very hard. It's gonna be very slow. But as soon as I lift up the intake a little bit and I start spinning, it's gonna it's going up much faster and much easier. Because with, because there's no space in the intake when when it when there's no when there's no lift. So if there's no space, then the, the everything is compressed and it won't be able and all that pressure it won't the, the blocks won't be able to go up. So a good intake needs to have a few things. It needs to have a a, a lifting a lift a lift force to compensate gravity. Some, some sort, uh, some, and yeah, that's, you need a lift force to compensate gravity in order to stop, in order to stop compressing on the blocks, stop compressing the, the rollers, and also reduce pressure. A few ways you can do this is first, the easiest way is putting a rubber band on here. Rubber bands are the easiest because it only requires one material, it's the easiest to put on, and it's easy to tune. The way you tune it is that if you look here, there, behind this plate there are pins. You can attach the rubber band to those pins which will adjust it and, and st stretch it so to, adju to adjust the bounciness of how, or how much it lifts up. If you if you stretch it too much, it's gonna lift up way too much, and the blocks are just gonna fall out. But if you put it at just the right angle, it's gonna it's gonna lift up at just the right angle, just just enough, so the blocks can go up fast. So another way is the harder way is to put a pneumatic piston, which isn't very good, and it's very it's very difficult to tune. It's very difficult to install because you have to have the right amount. Uh, the exact amount of force here and to tune it's going to be a very arduous process to tune it and also you need to have a lot of tubes all over the place which isn't very nice and might and might clog your intake in of itself and the, and the third best way to do it is to is to make your intake lighter because a lot of a lot of intakes are very heavy like I'm like, very heavy, so so and it can't lift up at all. You know the gravity is coming from the weight. The gravity that's pushing down on the intake is coming from the weight of the actual intake. So if you want to reduce the gra gravity's uh, gravity's effects, you know you need to light lighten the intake, make the intake lighter, so it can, so it doesn't. So it won't push down too much because it's going to be very hard to lift up if it's very heavy and with the effects of gravity by itself. So I hope you understood how to how to fine tune your intake so you can so you can start collecting purples like we can and hope and may, maybe I'll see you in competitions one day by Hobby Building.